Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Well, this dude is a submission magician. I am very thankful I am not fighting him here tonight, and it's really a case of pick your poison. He has so many different chokes in his arsenal and has been a master of getting these fights exactly where he wants them. There are black belts and there are guys like this who can do jujitsu at a level that not many people, regardless of the time spent, can truly get to. His understanding of position is truly unbelievable. He always has the frame. The moment you start to press into him, he's always underhooking, always looking for the next escape route, but not to get back to his feet. Right. He wants to go from bottom to top. If he's in the top position, you are constantly, constantly in danger. Don't think he can't submit you from the bottom. Right. But his position of choice will always be in the top position sitting yes. in that beautiful half -up. Yeah, his striking also has improved a lot, but no secret as to what he'll be trying to do in this matchup tonight. Well, always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter. Those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling. They start doing jujitsu. They start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills, and he does them all at an A-plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few years will just litter the UFC roster board. And oftentimes his opponents will say he doesn't really do anything special, but he does everything at a plus level, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Well, how about the age discrepancy here? More than 15 years apart with big differences in height and reach. To get us started with the official introductions, we go inside to the veteran voice of the Octagon. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, a referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. <laughs> This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds, fighting out of Kanagawa, Japan, Mystery. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, four losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Busan, South Korea, the Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi! You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. fighters across all divisions in the octagon because that one skill he has is so good that you're, un you're in danger the entire time. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Big kick. Oh, nice straight punch there by Choi. Oh, really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. 
look at the control and the posture as that big knee lands. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? And he landed the right hand there. Well, single collar tie here. Big ball sequence lands. Now he gets back to range. Big body kick. Oh, looks like he's trying to set up the takedown. There's the attempt. He changes the angle, finds the right spot to land that punch to the head from the clinch. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Battle for position here. And both guys really throwing with authority. every part of himself into these big leg kicks. A oh, little single collar tie there. Big head kick land. Ooh, big shot land. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Well, that nose isn't going to be able to take too many more as he doubles up on the jab there. So good to watch MMA evolve and watch guys now fight behind the jab. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. And they separate. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Joy gets touched by that kick to the body. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. And they separate. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh! Get right here! Big punch lands through the middle. Oh, big head kick lands. Oh, nice. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. All right, single collar tie now. He is throwing a fast kick hard jab. That's not a feeler jab. That's one that's really knocking the head back. Oh, and he connects with a the punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch, I just put a smile on my face. Pretty good right hand. I mean, this guy is really focused on those punches to the head inside of the clinch. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Well, you see him land. Got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Great punch landing. So much power. Massive elbow from the clinch. Oh, that left hand is on point. And he continues to work the body here. 20 seconds left. Way to hide that leg kick. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Got the single collar tie. There's no tell on that leg kick. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot of these replays are gonna be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're gonna see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. You're fine. It's just a little blood. You've been here before. You've been cut. No worries. All right, so here we go with our next round. DC, you are known for having one of the higher fight IQs in the game, and I would put him on that list after what we saw in terms of the body work there in the previous round. He did a fantastic job of mixing up his target, not head hunting, going to the body, making that investment into forcing a mistake later that will allow him to chase the finish. 
visibly limping here. Takedown defense holds up. Nice kick there by Chor. Now a kick to the body. Punch coming, it's blocked. Well, excellent takedown defense so far in this fight, and there it is again. He knew if he was going to win this fight, he was going to have to stop the shot, and he has certainly done that so far. He has done a great job of staying upright. He understands positioning. He understands finding defense and getting back into space where he's having the most success. Now, right into a heel hook transition. His opponent has been rendered defensive here. Let's see if he can survive. He might get a finish here. Not tapping out tonight. Now it's his mount. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Just over three minutes now to go. Good body language from his opponent here at DC. He's curled up. No, he's a beaten. Under three minutes now, remaining round two. Man, look at the redness starting to appear on the left side of his body. His opponent would be wise to continue to attack there. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. South position now, we'll see how he chooses to proceed. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's gonna start looking to land big shots from the top. All right, a good ground and pound by him here. Certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Oh, that'll work. The ground and pound strike is good. Two rounds in the books. All right, so the round is over, but not before damage was done. Cut on the cheek, sustained in that round. Cut man in there quickly as usual to try to seal it up. All right, there's the horn, and what a round it was. DC, take us through the replays. Punch after punch. He landed him at will. He went right at his opponent, 
got in his face and showed this is my octagon. We are going to dance to the beat of my tune. All right, the action continues here and now as our next round gets underway. The previous round won't be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is going to have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that you are watching the highest level of fighting in the entire world in the UFC. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Continues to work out of that tie clinch. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Man, look at his torso. That just can't feel good. Look at the size of that bruise on his body. And you got to think his opponent is going to continue to attack that area. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece. There's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook. That's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the elbow. Oh, nice. it has got to be more urgent here. That's going to hurt. Got to get out of there. Oh, nice. Trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter and he's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Stuff to take down, no problem. And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch, and I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. Hard to get out of. It's very difficult to get out of. Look and notice how tight his elbows are as he's maneuvering and moving his opponent into positions where he can get off his strikes. Well, we talked about that reach. Oh, oh, wow, you don't see that every day. Beautiful Imanari roll. Right into a heel hook attempt now. Seconds now to go in the round. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bob. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground today. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Choi. Some big punches raining down here, picking his spots well, and hasn't chosen to engage his opponent on the ground necessarily, posturing up and, and making these shots count. I mean, why would he when he's having so much success going in and fighting in this exact same manner that cleaned him to be ahead in the fight? Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Landed a big kick there. And they separate. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Both fighters throwing heat now. Nice. Watch the 
shot. Well, what a round. So with that, our next round is underway. It looked like maybe we wouldn't get here. There was a close attempt on a submission in the previous round, but the fighter lives to fight another round. It was very, very close. If it's me and I'm his coach, I'm telling him, get right back to it. This time, he will not be able to survive. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Single collar tie now. Beautiful head kick. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Oh, collar tie. Oh, now he's got the tie from Daniel. If you're on the other side, what are you trying to do to get out of this potentially dangerous position? You got to start digging your shoulder to a side and then trying to shove an underhook. You cannot bend down to try to get oh, out of the look at this, an Omanari roll right into a heel hook. You don't see that every day. It's flashy, it's unorthodox, but proving to be effective here. Let's see if he can finish the fight. Trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, Blocks. he gets denied. Blocks! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. Oh, so an interesting decision there is he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. Tries to mix in a takedown here. Oh, big punch land. Oh, man, that could have felt good. Flush knee lands to the body by the taller fighter. The master of the transition. Nice scramble. Leg kick checked nicely by the Korean Super Bowl. Oh, wow. Perfect execution on the Imanari roll, right into a heel hook now. Let's see if he can submit his opponent. Absolutely incredible. Oh, wow, oh! Control, control, don't let him control you. You control him. He should be defending right now. The sheer will is, is really remarkable to watch. Oh, right to the mound. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why. He's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Flush right hand is true. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. We'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Oh, how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Back to his feet. Well, the leg kicks have been a big storyline in this one, and there's another one. So he continues to slow his opponent down, and nice poker face on the other side. I'm not sure how many more he can take. He won't be able to take many more. Think about Edson Barbosa, how he lands those beautiful leg kicks, no wind up so fast. Eventually, guys get stopped from taking too many. 
This seems to be the path that he is wanting to take tonight in this fight. Good punch lands. And he lands a kick to the... Oh! oh and even our roll right into a heel hook attempt or so it looks. Man, this is flashy and certainly effective here tonight. Let's see if he can close the show from here. Oh, nice! So there's the horn at the end of the round. Multiple takedowns landed for him over the previous five minutes. And you know what, John? Even more importantly, look at the opponent now. He's afraid to pull the trigger because he's been taken down so many times. Getting taken down is one thing, but getting it, having it happen to you continuously really does make you gun shy. And right now, he's very tentative to let his offense go because of the fear of getting taken down back to the mat again. All right, next round getting underway here, and both fighters still a pretty see they put in the right work when it came to the cardio during training. They both have reputation for vast cardio. You see in the training that they do at their gyms that cardio is key, and you watch it in the way that these two fighters perform. There's no give on that leg kick. Stuffs the takedown, no problems. Determined to land as many leg kicks as he can in this fight. Oh, single collar tie here. A beautiful strike. Oh, man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just then. And you see as the corner starts to slow down, he cannot take many of those kicks. Oh, an obvious limp there. His leg hurting for certain. Closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard, he kicks so hard. Oh, look at this, out of nowhere, it's flashy but effective. Even Ari roll into a potential heel hook here. This could get interesting. Submission defense there. Down into his mount. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful around with this guy. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, tags him again with a flush left hand. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. Under three minutes now to go round five. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Comes in close, controls his opponent's posture, and lands these nasty elbows. Looks like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering. Nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. No wasted motions on those kicks. There's no tell. Gets up again here, but hurting. Short gets caught with that punch. And he engages in a single collar tie here. choi has got the tie clinch. Let's see what he can do. Connects with a right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Well, don't get mad, get even, right? He got stunned by his opponent earlier in the round. He's clearly been losing since. Oh! Oh, look at that. He left up and landed the diving punch to the head. Oh, he postured up there, gained 
gain some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts. Nice hammer fist. Oh, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be. Right now, it looks like he may be trying to set up an arm triangle choke. He needs to secure the left arm, push it across, and secure it with his head. Watch triangle, watch triangle. position. Now watch, he goes parallel right next to his opponent. When it's time to finish, he has to go play. Oh, man, that was slick. Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. What a fight! All right, the official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 50 44. Declared the winner by unanimous decision, Mr. All right, Lee. congratulations to him. He is your winner by unanimous decision and certainly a dominant performance here tonight. Yeah, he did a great job of just dictating and controlling all the engagements of this fight. His opponent never really had an opportunity to lead the dance. He did that from start to finish, and he wins a unanimous decision.